Where are we going, honey? We never go anywhere. We never go anywhere? We never go anywhere. Why do you say that? Because uh, we're always going somewhere. So we never go anywhere. Right? Right. So we're going somewhere, and we go somewhere a lot. <laughs> this somewhere is 55 miles down the turnpike, and then 30 miles not on the turnpike. There's no expressway to Reading, Pennsylvania. That's where we're going. I'm ready. You ready? I think so. Parkman's not called Reading, Pennsylvania. It looks like Reading. I don't know. That's a good question. Reading. You say Reading. Reading should be spelled R-E-D-D-I-N-G. Maybe we should tell the mayor when we get there. <laughs> they're spelling it wrong all the time. I don't know. Or are they just saying it wrong? I don't know. All right, we'll leave it spelled the way it is, and we're going to start calling it Reading, Pennsylvania. Like when we go to see Bert Reynolds in the Smokey and the Bandit. Bert Reynolds. Reynolds. No. Because that is what we Reading, not reading. <laughs> now you're really, really confusing me. Let's go. picked a really good lunch dinner spot for us I guess well if it's in between breakfast and lunch it's brunch if it's in between lunch and dinner what do you call it dinner snacks snacks <laughs> Alibri Mexican restaurant happy hour pumpkin margarita daily lunch specials Ooh, all right let's go in well this menu looks inviting seared ahi tuna tacos duck confit guacamole live Quesadillas, soups and salads, and cheese, and all of those appetizers. Not to miss the street taco selection, entrees, and on the back, you'll see the selection of desserts. Tahini around the rim. Oh, it's got tahini around the rim, and yeah. I love to lick the tahini. It's a skinny margarita. We only got a splash of sour mix. What makes it skinny? A splash of sour mix. And that's not your traditional margarita that you're used to drinking, is it? Well, if you see, it's like a little uh, cloudy. You're right. It's uh, a skinny margarita. What's the difference between a skinny and a traditional? Well, they put extra sour mix in the traditional one. And I that really has a lot of sugar? A glass of sugar. I want another glass of lime juice. Right? Smart. Let's see how it tastes. Wow, they did a good job. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Tell Enjoy us about it. it. Well, other than licking the tahini off of the rim. Well, the tahini's got add a little spice to it. Right, and I, it's very salty going, too. I was going to do the jalapeno flavored um, uh, margarita. And instead, that has enough hot stuff in it, so we don't need that. Okay. What's this? This is mild white cheese sauce with jalapeno peppers mixed in. Oh boy. This is going to be a hot one, isn't it? I don't know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's a little drippy. I think we're going to thicken up. Well, could use some more jalapeno. <laughs> oh, what is my that sizzling noise? God, we've got some broccoli over here, we've got some rice, and we've got some of those 
yellow fin tacos. Oh, look at that gloriousness. And over there in the distance. I got a little salad. I got some I beans. see some fajitas sizzling away. And we got chicken, shrimp, and steak fajitas. And then we've got some refried beans. Mm-hmm. Oh, my word. Incredible, mm -hmm. my friend. Incredible. Wow. So how did we do? I think we did fairly decent. You ate two out of three tacos over there. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Mm -hmm. I think we did pretty good if you're having another one. I'm having another one. It was very tasty. It was just right. I uh, haven't tried your um, rice yet, but I am going to try your taco. Check this out. This is the ahi tuna, the seared ahi tuna with some mango salsa on the top. I'm sure that that's cilantro all over the place so too, good. right? Hey, Little refried beans. I didn't get to try the rice. You gonna, you gonna help me? Ah! Uh, <laughs> that mango. Mm. How is it? Very good. Excellent. And I think we've attracted a crowd. Oh man! The sign says happy hour. <laughs> we are happy. This was a really good Mexican restaurant. It was. And you know. They might be a dime a dozen, mm -hmm. and uh, these days when we go looking for a Mexican restaurant, mm -hmm. we have a lot of choices out there. Oh, yeah. And I think we made a good one here in we Redding, did. Pennsylvania. It's actually Wyoming Missing. We're in Wyoming Missing, which is next door to Redding. But <laughs> come here, eat at this place, and you will be satisfied. We are now checking into our hotel here at the Doubletree Hilton, located across the street from Santander Arena. Look at our lovely little bathroom. Very nice. Ooh, nice big shower. That's a bonus. And come out here. Very nice. Oh, it's a big bed. And let's see what kind of a view we got. Huh? Ah, not bad. Pretty view of the city. A lot of buildings. This is their king bed. King Sweet. King Sweet. King Sweet. Very nice. And now we are going to head on down the road in a little bit for the show and be there for 6 30. Welcome to downtown Reading. We are at the Miller Center of the Arts for one special cabaret this evening by Constantine Marulis, currently the front man of Eagle Mania, Foreigner's Journey, Constantine and the Frequency, and also Tony nominee actor for Rock of Ages and also currently starred in The Rock and Roll Man. For those of you who don't know him, American Idol season six, runner up. So tonight he's delivering a very special concert with a VIP experience that yours truly and Mr. Murphy are going to be a part of. Shall we? I just quiver inside.
What an amazing night. What'd you think? Absolutely loved it. Very impressive. Loved it to the point that I found out we got tickets to go to Westchester and see him again. Where? Westchester. Westchester. Yeah. I thought you said something different. I think I did. <laughs> but I do have to correct myself. He was in season four and he was in the sixth place. Not the runner up, but he'll always be number one to me. That's the runner up. Yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode tonight of Life with Lucia and Glenn in Reading. We'll see you on the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below. Tell us what you thought. What's your favorite thing to do in Reading or your favorite place to eat? We'll see you on the next show.